Let me ask you a question. How many people would be in favor of a bank bailout like we did in 2008? If the banks got in trouble again, would you be in favor of a bailout? Raise your hand if you would be in favor of a bailout. Raise your hand if you know anybody who would be in favor of a bailout. Nobody, right? So what happens if you don't bail out the bank? If it's a too big to fail bank, you lose your savings account. You lose your checking account. You lose your 401k, your retirement money, your pension. They got us up shit creek. We have to bail them out or we lose everything too. And that's why the can has been kicked for so long. Since 1913, they've been kicking the can down the road. One of the things I talk about is getting assets in your own possession. If they're in your own possession and you have a gun, you don't have to worry about the banks going down. You got to worry about your friends and family. But if you have assets in your own possession, like silver, like gold, if you have to have gold, cryptocurrencies, the good ones, and you know how to use them, those are the three that are I recommend. I don't want to say, hey, the banks are going to shit, everything's going to fall apart and not give you a way out. And that's the best way out. I was listening to a really interesting interview with um, this guy who was going to some fancy business school. And uh, Paul Volcker, the old uh, Fed chairman, came after he was out of office, came and gave a speech to the graduates. And there was only 30 graduates. It's some elite type of school. And Paul Volcker stood up there, the head of the Fed, and they said he took out a $100 bill and a $100,000 bill. And he said, do you know the difference between these two bills? The U.S. used to print $100,000 bills back before 1934. It was like gigantic. It was really pretty bill. But he stood there on stage and he says, there is no difference. They're both paper IOUs. And then he put them together and he rolled them up like a cigar and smoked it right in front of the class. This is the head of the Fed. And everybody's like, what is he doing? This guy's crazy. And that's all he said. And then he walked off. And years later, this guy's like, it took me 10, 15 years to understand what he meant. And what he means is paper money is just that. It's paper with ink on it. And it's an IOU. And when the head of the Fed does something like that, I would have taken notice. So, all right. That's what we're going to talk about. What we're also going to do is uh, sing about things. So I always wanted to be a rock star when I was a kid. I'm 58 as of July 4th, and um, I had a great birthday. I always have a great birthday. It's, I birth, it's my birthday and, and Uncle Sam's birthday. Um, everybody gets it off. Everybody wants to party. I'm the only guy who gets presents. It was awesome. It was great fun. But when I sat there and I looked at all the American flag stuff, and I, I said, if you're going to live your life fighting for something, why not fight for your country? Why not fight for something important? Who ordered chicken wings? Get your chicken wings here. Chicken wing. There we go. Okay, so grab your drink, grab your food. Uh, bar's open. Uh, you can order food at the bar. The first song I'd like to play for you is a song about um, some friends of mine who invested in cryptocurrencies at the top. Uh, this is not this crash of cryptos, but the last crash of cryptos. Um, and they took the advice of a broker that they knew and trusted, and they also bought some stocks and bonds, and they were lied to. I don't mind losing a bet when everybody's honest about what's going on. What I do mind is when they lie, cheat, and steal and pretend we have regulators that are gonna do something about it. I am a big advocate of no regulators at all because in a world of no regulators, people will be looking out for getting cheated. They wouldn't invest in certain things that a con man came up to them with. They would be schooled as to, I'm not getting rid of my money unless I'm absolutely confident about where it's going. And with our regulators, it's just bad right now, really bad. Anyway, I wrote a song called Free Markets Are the Road to Freedom. Here's a 
true story about a man just like you. He worked his whole life, he was honest and true. He built up a nest egg the way they said to. Invest in the market, money works for you. Everything was fine, picking the winners every time. Started to believe he could make dollars out of dimes. Little did he know he's being primed for a fall. See the riggers let you play, then the riggers steal the ball. We want free markets, not a million phantom claims. Everyone's honest. You're gonna lose what you made You gotta shut down exchanges Till they trade one for one Free markets are the road to freedom I said free markets are the road to freedom well, Capitalism, not as bad as they say Never tried it, they rig markets every day. The socialists fail every time and every way. We need a better system, to make a better day. We need free markets, not a million phantom claims. When everyone's honest, gonna lose what you make. We gotta shut down exchanges. Till they trade one for one Free markets are the road to freedom I said free markets are the road to freedom There's a crypto solution If only done right We can take out the liars Bring dark into light Trust in the math, not the people who lie. I think we can make it if we give a try. We need free markets, not a million fan claims. Till everyone's honest, gonna lose what we made. We gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one. The road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. So there's a trial going on right as we speak. Uh, three of the largest gold silver traders are being tried for rigging the silver market. Do you know we've been screaming about these exact traders for over 20 years to the regulators? This is, these are the guys from J.P. Morgan. How many people have heard that J.P. Morgan's rigging the silver market? Pretty much everyone I go, it's like everybody knew except the regulators or the regulators were running cover for them, which is a 500 times worse. That means our free market system is probably worse than any other country because in the shitty countries, they don't trust their system. In our country, we've been lied to and told, oh, we have great regulators. You can trust the U.S. markets. Have the regulators told you that you might lose all your money if J.P. Morgan goes down or Bank of America goes down or any of the 10 top, they call them too big to fail banks go down? They don't tell us that. Why don't they tell us that? Because it would... Remove the confidence in the American markets. Well, you shouldn't be confident. If it's a rigged market, you shouldn't be confident. You know how many people are going to be surprised when this whole system goes down? There's a lot. Has anybody heard of, like, the Great Reset? You hear a lot about that these days. Do you think anybody on the planet will have the kind of trust and reliability to implement their system? I have a great idea. Let's do this. We're not going to trust any of these guys, especially the people 
like Klaus Schwab or Janet Yellen or Jerome Powell or Joe Biden. Is anybody going to trust Joe Biden to put together a new global monetary system? <laughs> Probably not. Or I, don't, I wouldn't trust him to ride a tricycle, much less a bicycle. 